Hi guitar mates and in this video we are looking at this. <laughs> I'm sure as a metal fan you, you are aware that Judas Priest released a single true Judas Priest fashion midnight Friday the 13th <laughs> The album is not going to be released until I believe it's something like the 8th of March uh, 2024. So it's a long way. Hey, I, I've been reading reviews about the song and uh, Forbes magazine, one of the comments, he, uh, the, the article says that it's as though they've taken all of the best elements of Judas Priest over the years and put it all together in this one slide. You've got to say, it just smacks up so many little bits. It's, a, it's just such a powerful song. You can hear the snippets, you can hear painkiller kicking through, especially in that solo. There is talk that the solo section, Glenn Tipton has played parts of that solo section. <laughs> But you've got to say, Richie, he is on fire. I I have been listening to this song constantly. I, I love that introduction part. And I thought, you know what I'll do? I'll do a little rendition of it. And I'll show you how to play that. You know, there's no videos out there. So really, no one's fully aware of what is being played by Richie. What we're going to do, I'm just going to walk you through it. We'll get the camera in close and I'll just talk you through the different parts and I'll just talk about different ideas can, that will help you play this. And of course, what I'm going to be doing is giving a link below and that will give you access to that backing track that I created. Let's just get into it and let me show you how to play the intro to Panic Attack. Just before we get started, I just want to say one thing. Uh, on the album track, they are tuned down a half tone. E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. On my backing track and the lesson I'm doing here, I am in standard tuning. Just got, I can't be bothered tuning down. That's all there is to it. So if you want to play on the album track, uh, tune down. If you want to play it with my track, standard tuning. Right, just wanted to cover that part. Now, what I've done on the lick, they are eighth north breaks in the riff. So I've broken it down into these sections where there's a little break in the passage. So the first one we'll be going to play is this. So we are starting off. Now I play that with my third finger, but really I should be playing it with my little finger. And there's a reason for that with the way I play it. But little finger, high E string, 15th fret, going to the B string, 15th fret. Then you are with your first finger doing 12, going to, to 12 on the high E, to 12 in the B. Then we go back, and I use my third finger this time to go to the 15 on the B string. Now I use my second finger then to play 14 on the G. So a little finger first to the first finger, and then and that's where we then depart from it being easy. <laughs> that one's quite straightforward. Just a point here, pretty much everything that we're doing here, it's all in an E minor pentatonic, and the first part is centered around E minor pentatonic from the 12th fret. It departs on the second, or oh, the, uh, there's a little change up that we're doing, but the main bulk, is just on E minor pentatonic, so that should make things a little bit easier for you. So the next part, we are going to just play a 12th fret on the high E string, 
And then again, there is an A note rest, where you can hang on to that. So you just have to play that note, letting it last for the eighth note. Then we get into the next part, which is the busier part here. Because for the next, I can't count how many notes there, but they are all eighth notes. So we are going to play this. What are we doing there? I am on first finger, 12th fret on the B string. Third finger plays 15 on the B. Second finger plays 14 on the G. Then my first finger comes across to 12th fret on the B string. Now, you are going to go to 12th fret on the G string, but I don't like to put my finger across the two strings to start with. I like to move it down. So I get this. So I'm moving across, down on to G12. From there, we are going with my third finger back to B15. Then my second finger is going to play G14. Now this one, I do the 12 and 12, but at this time I do put my finger across the, and I'm going to do a B12 to a G12. And I'm just rolling it because I just want to kill the sound of the B string when I play that. Then my third finger picks up G14. And then my second finger picks up D14. So let me just play that nice and slow and see if I get this correct. So normally when I slow this down, I get it wrong. So we are... Now, this is the part where I deviate from what everyone else has been doing. What I'm going to do, I am going to play G12 with my first finger. And then my little finger is going to reach down and play 16 on the D string. And I'm going to play 12 on the D. Second finger, I'm going to play A14. And then my third finger, finish off that lick on D14. So you get it. Now, what most people have been doing, they have been playing uh, this 12 down to the 11 on that G string. Then they've been playing D12. And then they've been flat finger, third finger across there on the 14th. I did not like that movement back, especially when I'm playing it quick to go back onto there. I prefer that. So I can just get my fingers on when I was playing that. So if we take the whole lip and I will take this part nice and slow, this is what we're doing. I said the reason we're using our little finger is because if I'd been playing that with my second or even just rolling my third finger, if I'd start to play with my third finger, I've got a bit of a move there. There's a real big tendency to make an awful noise when you lift your finger up. So using and practicing with the little finger, that gives you a more of a chance to go because you've only got an eighth break before. <laughs> So you've got to get across onto that 15th fret very, very quickly without an awful ringing sound of you going as you take your finger off the uh, 14th fret position. Now you are going to play that riff three times. When you've completed the third time, we go into the second part of the riff, which goes like this. So 
So again, I'm going to break it down into little smaller chunks. Uh, the first one is G12. Second finger then goes to D14. Third finger, G14. Eighth note hold. And then we're going to put our first finger on B12. Going back with our second finger to G14. So. Now our first finger is going to move up quickly to B15. And you've got to play that. Eighth note hold on that. Then we've got this little ascending line that we're doing, which is second finger plays G16. Third finger, B17. Back to G16. You skip over to 15th fret on the high E string, your first finger. And then I use my second finger to play B17. So you get... Now, you have then got a very quick movement with your first finger to go to 17th fret on the high E string and the B string. And we're going to play E17 first, down to B17, and then we start in a pedal point riff here. Third finger is going to play the 19 on the E string, back to the 17 on the B. And you're going to reach all the way, and it's the last fret on my guitar, and this won't be the strap. 22nd fret with the little finger on the high E string. Back to the 17 on the B string. So let's just take a pause there and let's just me run that through what we've got so far. Final part. Again, I think I've taken a little bit of a, a change up from what was down at the tab. I am going back this time to third finger on B20. Second finger is going to play 19 on the B. Third finger jumps across and plays 19 on the G. So you got a little Let's shift that finger very quickly. 19 on the G. Then to 16 on the G with the first finger. Cross to B17. So again, you might find that little movement of them fingers a little bit challenging at first. Yeah, it's just practice. But you could just go... Just run that through. Then we go back to the usual riff. So the format we've got, the first lick, you're going to play that three times. Then you go and play the second lick. Then you go back and you repeat everything. So another three times on the first lick, then going on to this one more time. Then you are into the main guitar riff. So that's that great intro piece from the song. Well, I'm sure you're going to have some fun learning how to play that great riff. If anything, it's just a fun riff to play over any e minor pentatonic and just gets you shifting right in the different position of any e minor pentatonic. So what more could you ask for? Uh, you know, that's what turned me on to this when I first looked and I'm like, it's all E minor pentatonic. What a cool lick. But it doesn't sound pentatonic, it doesn't sound bluesy in its approach. Another great thing I enjoyed about that. But it is fun to play and it's fun to get the speed up on that like you would hear at the beginning there. Anyway, don't forget, tablet sheet and also the backing track link will be down below. Get you across to my guitar mate site and you can have a look at that. Well, I'm going to let you go for this lesson. Until the next time, this is Jeff wishing you all well. I'll speak to you again real soon. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>